Hawksbill sea turtle. The Hawksbill sea turtle, Eretmochilis imbricata, is a critically endangered sea turtle belonging to the family Chelonidae. It is the only extant species in the genus Eretmochilis. The species has a worldwide distribution, with Atlantic and Indo Pacific subspecies, E. I. imbricata and E. I. bissa, respectively. The hawksbill's appearance is similar to that of other marine turtles. In general, it has a flattened body shape, a protective carapace, and flipper-like limbs, adapted for swimming in the open ocean. E. imbricata is easily distinguished from other sea turtles by its sharp, curving beak with prominent tomium, and the saw-like appearance of its shell margins. Hawksbill shells slightly change colors, depending on water temperature. While this turtle lives part of its life in the open ocean, it spends more time in shallow lagoons and coral reefs. The World Conservation Union, primarily as a result of human fishing practices, classifies E. imbricata as critically endangered. Hawksbill shells were the primary source of tortoiseshell material used for decorative purposes. The Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species outlaws the capture and trade of hawksbill sea turtles and products derived from them. While they are omnivorous, sea sponges are their principal food, they constitute 70 to 95% of the turtles' diets. However, like many spongivores, they feed only on select species, ignoring many others. Caribbean populations feed primarily on the orders Astrophorida, Spiroforida, and Hadromerida in the class Demospongiae. Aside from sponges, hawksbills feed on algae, sea anidarians, comb jellies and other jellyfish, and sea anemones. They also feed on the dangerous jellyfish like hydrozoan, the Portuguese man o' war, Physalia physalis. Hawksbills close their unprotected eyes when they feed on these sea anidarians. The man o' war's stinging cells cannot penetrate the turtle's armored heads. Anatomy and morphology. Adult hawksbill sea turtles typically grow to 1 meter in length, weighing around 80 kilograms on average. The heaviest hawksbill ever captured weighed 127 kg. The turtle's shell, or carapace, has an amber background patterned with an irregular combination of light and dark streaks, with predominantly black and mottled brown colors radiating to the sides. Several characteristics of the hawksbill sea turtle distinguish it from other sea turtle species. Its elongated, tapered head ends in a beak-like mouth, from which its common name is derived, and its beak is more sharply pronounced and hooked than others. The hawksbill's forelimbs have two visible claws on each flipper. One of the hawksbill's more easily distinguished characteristics is the pattern of thick scutes that make up its carapace. While its carapace has five central scutes and four pairs of lateral scutes like several members of its family, E. imbricata's posterior scutes overlap in such a way as to give the rear margin of its carapace a serrated look, similar to the edge of a saw or a steak knife. The turtle's carapace has been known to reach almost one meter in length. The hawksbill appears to frequently employ its sturdy shell to insert its body into tight spaces in reefs. Crawling with an alternating gait, hawksbill tracks left in the sand are asymmetrical. In contrast, the green sea turtle and the leatherback turtle have a more symmetrical gait. Due to its consumption of venomous sea anidarians, hawksbill sea turtle flesh can become toxic. The hawksbill sea turtle has been shown to be biofluorescent and is the first reptile recorded with this characteristic. It is unknown if this is derived from the turtle's diet, which includes biofluorescent organisms like the hard coral Physagira lichtensteinii. Males have more intense pigmentation than females, and a behavioral role of these differences is speculated. Thanks for watching. If you enjoy the video, please like and subscribe.